Hello guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. Look, I'm sorry, I know I haven't posted in a while, but I'm posting now anyway, so what the heck. Anyway, here's today's video. It's a reaction video, in case you couldn't tell. I got kidnapped by a seven years old. Grammar aside, that's a pretty interesting title. I'm honestly not quite sure what to expect. But anyway, let's just get right into it. Right after you like and subscribe. Go do that. The moment I woke up, the pain hit me like a ton of bricks. For a moment, I didn't know where I was or who I was. There was just the terrible, throbbing agony in the back of my head. There was also an unbearable stench of bleach. Suddenly, a little voice whispered in my ear, Good morning, Mama. My eyes flew Bruh. open and I turned in bed. There was a pretty little girl with blue eyes and blonde hair looking expectantly at me. She must have seen the confusion on my face. It's me, Mama! She cried happily. It's Hannah! I was shocked, and I sat up, fighting the blinding what? headache. But something was holding my leg down, and I heard the clink of steel on steel. What? When I no over, way, no I way. Saw a oh, my this seven-year-old. to the bed frame. I looked around the room. Oh. I didn't even know where I was. When my hair swung in front of my face, I gasped. My brown hair was blonde now. I panicked, <gasps> turned again to the stranger who was calling me her mother. But now I realized she wasn't a stranger. I recognized her little face. She was my boyfriend's daughter. Wouldn't that be? You know what? No comment. Let's just keep. Let's just keep playing. Whoa, that's intense. Do you think I'm just having a nightmare? Before I continue, please click the like and subscribe buttons below. Hi, my name is Helen. This is the story of the craziest and creepiest month of my life. What's going? Okay, we got an ad. We'll be right back. Or not. Yeah, watch the ad. Who cares? Look, guys, I'm really sorry about this, but my computer just doesn't really... No comment there. Think. Dad, wait, wait. creepiest month of my life. Yeah. What's going on? I asked in a panic. Where's Hank? Dad's just fixing something, Hannah replied happily. Then she waved her small hand to point at something on the wall behind me. Look, Mama, she added, and I <gasps> gasped. All over the wall were pictures that Hank took of me while we were dating. Hannah had drawn blonde hair cutouts and pasted them on my head to hide my brown hair. To my surprise, there were pictures of Hannah, too, and they were pasted on top of mine. There were notes everywhere saying, my mom and me. In the middle of it all, there was a big picture of me and Hank, who looked big and muscular. He had a goofy smile on his face. There was something scribbled on top. It read, I love my family. I was getting goosebumps on like my scribbles. arm. Nothing was making sense. What kind of sick joke was this? I was fighting the rising panic in my chest. I oh, thought of my oh, two-year-old son, Marcus, who I had left with my mother last night. I had to get out of here. Uh, I had to uh, get home. What? But I was chained to the... What? Why is she surprised that she has kids when she still rem I have no clue what's going on here, so we're just gonna keep playing. Got that? Ed, like a trapped animal. Do you know how to get this thing off? I asked her, pointing to the cuff around my foot. And who bleached my hair? But Hannah's attention was elsewhere. She grabbed her toys and laid them between us on the bed. Let's play! She told me excitedly. I tried to clear my head despite my headache while Hannah played. I pressed my hands on my eyes and tried to remember how I got to this position. I remember meeting Hannah for the first time last night at dinner. We had a wonderful time. I could see Hank's proud face in my mind beaming proudly when I said that his daughter seemed like a gifted seven-year-old. Hannah even kissed me on the cheek before she went to bed. Last night you asked permission if you could still watch TV and write in your diary before going to bed, I said out loud to Hannah. She smiled sweetly at me. Yes, I have to write in my diary every day. I walked from the kitchen to the living room. Your father was laughing, then I heard a thud, I added, mm -hmm. trying to make sense of it all. Then something hit me really hard on the head. I tried to remember more, but I was drawing a big blank. Hannah suddenly laughed. Did you have a bad dream, Mama? She asked innocently. Yo. I felt like I was still- It's Hannah. Yo, low-key, it is Hannah. There is no other excuse for this. I blame Hannah fully, completely. Hannah did it. No question. Dreaming, but the cold touch of steel around my foot, I knew I wasn't asleep anymore. This was all real. Hannah, I asked as calmly as I could, where is your father? Can you go and get him? But Hannah just shook her head. 
I don't think that Daddy is going to spend time with us today, she answered with a touch of annoyance. Please play with me. She looked at me with her piercing big blue eyes. I realized that until Hank arrived, I wouldn't get any answers. Meanwhile, Hannah was playing with the makeup she found in my bag. Do you think I'm pretty, Mom? Asked Hannah. My heart went out to her. The poor little thing. She had um. no idea that her father was crazy. I wondered about the night before. Something or someone hit me really hard. Okay, we've got an ad. Now we can, now we can discuss this. Okay. My only comment is just what? Look, I know you're mad at me for not skipping the ads, but like, I need to talk. I need to talk to you people. On the head, I heard a thud coming from the kitchen right before something hit me. If Hank was in the kitchen, how did he get to the living room so fast? After a while, uh, Hannah complained see? that she was hungry. She asked if I could make her some food. Daddy showed me how to remove it from the bed. She explained while pointing at the cuff. She wiggled under the bed, twisting huh? the chain. A few moments later, she showed me that the chain wasn't attached to the bed anymore. Now it was connected to a big metal ball. Anger flared up inside me again. What kind of sick father would teach his daughter to work a ball and chain? But aside from anger, I was starting to get scared. What else was Hank capable of doing to me? Somehow I managed to drag that ball out to the kitchen so I could make Hannah a snack. Then I asked her for help again if she knew how to remove the ball completely. I explained that I had to go home. My son was waiting for me. Please don't leave me, Hannah begged, and she began to cry. Don't leave me alone here. I'm scared. But I was more worried about myself than Hannah at that point. I dragged the ball to the front door and realized that it was locked from the outside. Bruh. I tried the windows. They were locked too. Feeling furious and frustrated. Okay. Break the windows. Okay, but then you'd have to run. Break the windows and steal a car. There you go. I even tried to break the glass, but it wouldn't break. My cell phone was gone Yo. and I didn't see a phone anywhere. What's this man got like bulletproof glass? You know what? Like, wh okay, why would anybody who isn't? Why would any? Why would anybody need bulletproof glass? Like, actually, <laughs> how about like? How about you just like, don't have bulletproof glass? If you have bulletproof glass, just sell it or something and get like a new computer. I started to pound on the glass, and I was screaming to the people I could see outside, but nobody turned to look my way. I came to a realization that chilled me to the bone. There was no way out and no one to call for help. That's when I started to cry. Hannah ran to me and hugged me tight. What? I didn't see Hannah. Why is the girl bigger than the woman, I think? A woman. I think she's a woman. I haven't been paying attention well enough, but I don't know at all that day but there was a constant thumping sound oh. coming from the attic oh, wow. the next oh, morning oh. i finally saw hank he and hannah came into the room carrying a tray for breakfast can i share your breakfast mom hannah said while jumping into the bed i looked angrily at hank and i demanded that he release me but he never said a word i grabbed his hand what kind of sick joke is this i cried out i started to shout but hannah covered her ears please don't fight she said, and she started to cry. Okay, chill. Hank like, looked me straight in the eyes. Just eye. chill. I was shocked with what I saw. His eyes looked dull and full of sadness. This is for the best, he said before leaving. This what? is for the best, Hannah. I spent the next few days chained to that bed. Hannah was my constant companion. My heart was bleeding for this poor little girl. She seemed so starved for a mother's love and affection. Everything she made, she showed to me with such hope and excitement on her face. She talked constantly about the new things she learned, like the animals in Australia. I hated Hank for keeping me locked up like this, but now I was afraid of him too. He was a totally different person from the man I thought I was falling in love with. He was so and withdrawn. He never even looked me in the eyes anymore. The days went on. I had to fight the urge to cry and panic when I thought about Marcus. I needed to find a way to escape so I could get to my son. So I formulated a plan. Yo. I knew I wasn't strong enough to- Where'd you get like army fatigue so seriously? Okay, like... Bulletproof glass, you say. Don't you have like a humongous ball attached to your ankle? Like... I feel like if you could like, yeet the thing, I feel like it would break a window, but I'm not sure. I, I really hope she thinks of that and doesn't, because that would be very good. Go against Hank physically. I okay, wait, 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 wait a minute. Plan. Outside. 
go back inside. Like, go outside. What kind of plan is this? Please, please think of your plans better. Formulated a plan. I yeah, yeah, we heard you. Still chained up was because Hank was afraid that I would run. I had to prove that I wasn't planning. Yo, smart. She's gonna like prove that she's planning to run. That's so smart, bruh. On going anywhere, so I gave into Hannah's hugs and cuddles while waiting for my chance. I made her laugh. I played with her. I made her little treats in the kitchen. Yo, bro, chill. Okay, if I saw that, I would just run and like beat my head against glass until it broke. Straight up. I worked on the perfect mother persona for weeks. I even scolded her a bit for watching those reality TV shows that were way too mature for her. Finally, my plan was working. Me watches like Paw Patrol or something. You know what? This is way too mature for me. Hannah started to complain that I couldn't properly play with her if I was always dragging that ball around. She begged her dad to remove Ted Fools. <laughs> Just straight up dad pulls. And he did. A few more Yo. days passed. Holding and hugging Hannah almost became second nature by now. She was an easy child to love, and I pity. Okay, why is there like just this little streak of yellow in her hair? I don't really get that. Her more than I could say. She couldn't leave the house. She didn't even go to school anymore. One night, she came to my room to tell me about her reality show. She said the people in her show went to a restaurant near their house. Please, can we go? She begged Hank. Hank gave her a questioning look and pointed like, to me. What? Please, Daddy. What? She said again. Mom loves me now. I. It's just like, can we go? Can we go to a restaurant? What? <laughs> like, what the heck, bro? Like, what is, what is so confusing about that? Brushed the top of her head lightly, a gesture of affection. Hank finally gave in. Remember to behave, Helen, he told me by the front door. Yo. No funny business. Remember to behave, <laughs> bro. I nodded, and it was the first time I saw the outside world in ages. We got into the car and drove to the restaurant. Oh, he's Hannah coming. was practically jumping in her seat in her excitement. She kept cuddling next to me, saying that she had the best family in the world. Okay, you go to a restaurant once, and you've got, like, the best family in the world. <laughs> this poor girl, seriously. It was time to pay the check. I stood up and excused myself. I have to use the ladies' room. I replied, and to stop the suspicion forming in Hank's eyes, I asked Hannah to come along. The little girl grabbed my hand and went. I led Hannah to a stall, and I went to the one next to it. As much as I wanted to take care of Hannah, I needed to leave her father. I needed to escape. So before I left the bathroom stall, I quickly got my lipstick and smeared a message on the door. It was my only chance to get some help. I didn't have an address or a phone number, but I knew the plate number of Hank's car. When we were walking back to the car, we heard... So you see, you just go, you're just going to the bathroom, you close the stall door, and you see, help, I've been kidnapped, plate number, like, okay, comment down below, what would you do if you just saw, if you were going to the bathroom, and you just saw that, like, what would you do? I honestly would just be like, I think I'm gonna switch stalls, <laughs> I would just switch stalls, honestly. <laughs> Unfortunately, I would not do anything about that if I saw that, but maybe you guys would. I don't know. Just comment down below what you would do. Shouting coming from the restaurant. My deliverance came in the form of waiters and waitresses running to my rescue. Somebody had seen my note. I was saved. The police arrived soon after. They handcuffed Hank in front of me. I finally got my vengeance. Now it was going to be his turn to feel how terrible it is to be locked up. Hannah was crying the whole time. I took her in my arms. Please don't let them take my daddy away, she cried to me. Okay. I tried to comfort her as much as I could. The poor little girl was being traumatized again. But the cops okay, like... also took Hannah away. She was being sent to a social worker. As much as it hurt to let her go, my arms were craving to hold my son again. I finally went home and my life gradually went back to normal, despite meeting with the police all the time. I told them about the night I fell unconscious. They assumed that Hank must have run to the living room the moment that his daughter left. They said that it was an open and shut case about a man who was obsessed with finding a mother for his child. I tried to stop thinking about it. Besides, I wanted to make up for all the time I'd lost with Marcus. I hugged him as tightly as I could, feeling that I would never let anything bad ever happen to my son. I would Yo. do anything for him. Okay, honestly, if my parents just disappeared, 
I don't really know what I'd do. I'd be like half concerned and half just like kind of, I, okay, I'd probably, I don't know what I'd do because I would love a chance to just like be alone in the house for a few days and play, like just play unlimited Minecraft and not have anyone judge me for it. But at the same time though, I would be nervous, I guess, about like my parents not like being there and just, I would probably just be nervous about where they were more than anything because like, yeah. So I don't know what I would do. Yeah, comment, leave a second comment. I don't really care. I know you like people judge you if you do that, but okay. Don't judge people who make two comments. Comment again, what would you do if your parents just randomly disappeared? Like, seriously. But something kept bugging me about the whole ordeal. Oh, it's not as over yet. As much as I hated wow. and feared Hank, I couldn't shake off the feeling that there was still some stone left unturned. I also felt guilty about Hannah, so yeah. I went to visit her, just like... to see her one last time. She sobbed when she saw me, and she held out her little arm. Did you come to take me home, Mom? She asked with so much hope and heartbreak. I'm sorry, baby, I whispered to her. I can't be can't. Okay, we got another ad. Okay, like, honestly, why would you not just bust out of there with Hannah? Like, seriously. Like, are you, are you kidding me? Like, you wouldn't just, like, bust out of there with Hannah? Like, ugh. Is this another ad, though, too? I just got like the fastest control. I felt so sad. There was no way I could get Hannah. I felt so guilty about leaving her. She was just a little girl. But the moment I said that, her face changed. Gone was the angelic face I had known. She snarled like an animal. I thought you were different, she said with a sudden raspy voice. But you're not any better than them. Poor Hannah thought I was abandoning her. In her anger, Hannah grabbed the only thing next to her, which was her diary. She flung it at me and Yo. fell on the floor. I bent down to pick it up. Meanwhile, Hannah was flinging curses at me. Awful words Yo. that no seven-year-old should or could know. I thought it was because of all- Okay, honestly, I bet I, I bet I knew a lot more than her when I was young. Like, middle grade. Like, yeah, I, 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 um, yeah, I, yeah. We don't need to talk about that. The reality shows that she watched, but then I saw the drawings. I flipped through the pages of that diary. There were drawings of different girls, all with- Yo, I get it now. Like, these are all women that were, like, her mother. That is creepy. That's just nuts now. Okay. Yeah, that's interesting. Blonde hair and blue eyes. There were notes on each page stating their names along with the good and bad things about them. There were dates too. The first entry was dated 10 years ago. Yo. What is this? I gasped. By okay, sorry, I keep doing that. I have this bad habit of pressing the wrong button. But 10 years ago. Can we just please think about the The girl is the girl herself is like only seven. Like that just doesn't make any sense. Now I had noticed my own face, perfectly drawn near the last page of the diary. Uh... Give that back, Hannah growled. I was trembling from head to toe, but I didn't give it back to her. I knew I was holding the most important piece of evidence in my own kidnapping case. Things were starting to make sense now. Hank wasn't acting alone. What did you use to hit me on the head? I asked in horror. I threw a boomerang at you, she replied, <laughs> right after I shot a dart at my dad because he said he was tired of playing my game. When he finally woke up, he begged me not to hurt you, but he loves me, and he always does what I say. He's been doing it for years. <sighs> years, I repeated. How could that be? Hannah was only seven. How old are you, Hannah? I asked as calmly as I could, but my heart was beating painfully in my chest. You're smarter than I thought. She spat back at me. I may look like a young girl, but I'm really 18 years old. Not much young. What? <laughs> what? That's just kind of ridiculous, but okay. Younger than you? How? I whispered back. I stopped aging a long time ago. I'm trapped in this child's body, but I can't do anything without somebody who actually looks like an adult. And I just want a normal life with a normal family. You can feel sorry for me all you want, but I'll find a way to get a real family someday. It doesn't have to be you. It doesn't have to be any one of you. Hannah's demeanor was scaring me more than being locked up in a house. What do you mean any one of you? Who are these women? I asked again, pointing to the pictures in her diary. Then Hannah's face changed some more. She looked feral, evil, and nothing like a child. 
Uh, Those are my other mothers, she said with a little smug smile. Do you think you were the first? The mothers that failed to meet my expectations are all buried in the basement. Bro! Okay, guys, that's about it for today's video, I think. So, um, yeah, that was very intense. Leave a like if you want more of, like, this stuff, but, yeah. Anyway, yeah, uh, I, I'm gonna, like, see you guys in another video, because that was just kind of nuts. So...